It really motivates me watching videos like this. You just see these people just working incredibly hard and they lose a lot of weight and they're really better in themselves. And I just really wish that I could take the time to do something like that. But if you're like me, you feel like you never have enough time. And that's how I felt until recently. I used to be in really good shape, but because of bad decisions and the worries of life, I am where I am today. That's why I've decided this simple man is going to take a simple approach to getting back into shape, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So starting out, I know this sounds so simple and basic, but the truth is I was pretty clueless about my lifestyle. That's when I decided I needed to audit myself so I can come up with a plan going forward. That's why I decided to get a Fitbit. In case you're not familiar with a Fitbit, it's basically a pedometer that counts your steps and estimates how many calories you've burned for a day. It also has an app that's really useful and it can actually help you track a whole lot more. Here's what I found out about myself. On a typical day, I would take anywhere from 6,000 to 8,000 steps. If I was lucky, I would drink maybe 32 ounces of water. That's roughly 100 milliliters. I would eat anywhere between 2,600 and 3,400 calories a day. My basal metabolic rate was 1,993, which basically means if I did absolutely nothing each day, my body would still burn 1,993 calories to maintain the same size. If you're curious what your basal metabolic rate is, I'll go ahead and include the link to the calculator I used below, that way you can find out for yourself. So my body burns 1,993 calories every day regardless of my activity level. After you add in the amount that I move around, we'll say 7,500 steps for example, it bumps that number up to roughly 2,425 calories a day to maintain but I'm eating roughly 3,000 calories a day. Honestly, 3,000 calories can come on pretty quick once you start to really pay attention to them. So I have a calorie surplus of 575 calories per day, roughly. Now this can vary wildly depending on what I'm doing each day and the things I eat, but it's easy to see how you can add extra weight in no time. On top of this, I'm probably severely dehydrated, opting to drink other things outside of water. While the thought of joining a gym and going all out sounds appealing, I know myself and after two weeks I'd be burnt out. Not to mention the money and time. So I decided to try and up my step count to a daily goal of 15,000. When I hit the 15,000 steps a day, my calories burned jumped up to 3,200. I'm able to hit this goal about 85% of the time. I started taking the longer route to places. I also tried to go for a nightly walk and even walk in my yard in the evening when I'm not able to go for a walk. At the very least, I would try to walk or run in place while watching TV just to get my steps in. The Fitbit is actually quite motivating. It's a constant reminder on my wrist to be more active when I otherwise probably wouldn't have been. Secondly, I needed to rein in my eating. I decided that the number of calories I was going to shoot for would be 1,800 a day or close to it. I also closely monitored my food for the first week. After about the first week, I had gotten fairly comfortable with what I should be eating and decided that I wouldn't monitor it quite as close the next week. If this video is popular enough and I get requests for it, I'll create another video on what I ate as I did start to move towards healthier options. But to keep this video fairly short, most of the time I just paid attention to the calories rather than the macros of the food. The final step in my plan was to increase my water. This also meant trying to cut back on probably my worst habit, drinking soda. Typically every day around lunchtime I'd want to get out of the office for a quick bit so I'd run down to the store and get a 32 ounce coke. This is roughly 3000 extra calories every day. By replacing that with water, I'm saving a nice chunk of calories right there. Also, just if you're curious, I haven't completely given up soda. I still allow myself two per week. I also noticed, though, that my skin looked much better after increasing my water intake. And if you feel like snacking, try drinking a glass of water first. It's surprising how many times you're actually thirsty rather than hungry, because after I would drink water, my hunger would usually go away for a good while. These simple things aren't too hard, right? With them in place, I went from a daily calorie surplus of 575 to a calorie deficit of 1400. So, here I am, two weeks later. <laughs> So, 
Here I am, two weeks later. In two weeks, I was able to lose 10 pounds and drop my body fat down 3%. My blood pressure also benefited from the changes, dropping from 140 over 74 to 108 over 74. The great thing about this plan is it's sustainable. Even if I decide to eat more than 1,800 calories for the day, I'm now more active and burning more calories, so this helps me to stay in better shape. When you first start out, there are days that you just want to call it quits because honestly, it's easier and less restrictive to not worry about it. But you keep with it because you're getting tired of being fat, and after a few days, it starts to become the norm. You start seeing results. When I look in the mirror now, I stop seeing what I currently look like, and I start seeing what I could look like here in the near future. It's really motivating. Now that I've taken these first few steps, literally, I think I'm ready to go on to some more steps. That's the thing. One small positive change leads to another and another, and before you know it, you're accomplishing more than you thought you could have a short while ago. Mm-hmm.